Should we do a POV video? I think we should. Let's get it. So today I'm going to be answering the question, is a 2015 play Audi A3 still worth buying in 2023? As well as taking you for a POV tour of the local villages. Stay tuned until the end and give your opinion down in the comments below. What's going on guys, Will here and today we're back with another video, another POV video. You guys are loving these on my channel. I've looked at the trends which are the most viewed and the most liked on the channel and the POVs are up there. So I'm thinking about making this a regular series. Let me know down below if you would like like to see that after you've watched this one. Today what we're going to be doing is going for a little drive around the town and neighbouring towns near where I've just moved into. Obviously you guys know from the previous video we've just bought a house so it feels only right to explore the area of a POV style video. If you do enjoy the video please remember to leave a like and also comment your thoughts down below. Do you like this series? If you do let me know down below I'd greatly appreciate it. Also as I mentioned later on in the video we've got some good ideas planned coming up so please hit that subscribe button and ding dong that notification bell that way you'll never miss out. Also, also, I know I'm plugging it a lot at the moment, but I am streaming on Twitch most days at the minute. So I'll put it on screen now and a link down below. I've also created a Discord. That way you can get notified every time I post and every time I stream on there as well. Um, so I'll leave a link down below to it. it. All my links will be down there. So please, please go check those out. I haven't done one of these POV videos in a while. You guys seem to love them. So I thought, why not jump into another one? While we're in our new house, new videos being uploaded on the channel. I'm trying to go for weekly, although that's not really like happening at the moment. But this week will change because I've got three videos in the works this week. I've never been this far. I've never ventured into this part of my area. Yeah, it'll be interesting to get to know. Obviously, I've, I've driven the main road and everything. So this person's turning around here. We've got some zigzaggy lines, so we're trying to avoid that. Um, but yeah, the Audi. The Audi is doing me well, man. It's been four years nearly that I've had this car and I'm absolutely still loving it. It's never let me down once. Does it do the job compared to what my friend's newer cars does? And my thoughts are absolutely because I've got a private plate and they always say, how old is this? It feels like, like a 2018 plate, the way it drives and everything. Yeah, I would agree. Like, it's still smooth driving. Bearing in mind, I bought this car on 10,000 miles and it's currently on 56. So in the four years I've, had, I've done 46,000. So after four years of owning my Audi, I'm going to be covering a few of the pros and cons of having it, as well as how it fares in 2023. Firstly, you have the reliability of the car. I've never had a single issue with this car. The only thing which did need doing was I needed to clean out the electric brake as it got seized on. But once we took it apart, cleaned it and put it back on, it's been fine ever since. And touch wood, I've had no other issues in the four years I've owned the car. Secondly, we have the driving standard of the car. Now this car boasts quite a good miles per gallon, even in today's market. And the comfortability of the seats makes it an enjoyable ride for both long and short journeys. For me, the only thing that lets the ride standard down is the fact that you can hear so much road noise in the cabin while driving. It's terrible, but I've covered this many times before, especially when I reviewed the car itself when I first got it. I think as well, you can feel a lot of the road in the car. You definitely need to have this in comfort mode in order to, for it to be a soft journey. However, once it's in that mode, it is fairly decent, but there is better options out there in 2023. But given those points, I still think the car is a competitive car and a great purchase in today's market. The turbo gives the car a little bit of a kick if you want to have a little bit of fun. Although granted, it's not a 0-5 second car, it still does the job. And for me, the reliability has been second to none. I do a lot of miles, especially long distance miles, so I work from home throughout the week. But on weekends, I do a lot of long journeys and the reliability has been absolutely insane. The only other reason why I wouldn't recommend this car in today's market would be if you're looking for a modern interior. Now as you can see from the POV video, the interior is quite dated, especially if you're looking for a touchscreen display or even a virtual dashboard. Personally, I think the competitors are much better, especially for the age group. For example, the BMW 1 Series 2015 has a much better interior in my opinion. To summarise, the car is reliable, very cheap to run and perfect for any young driver that can afford to buy it. And given that I've had the car for four years, the value of it is held up pretty well. But now that we've gone through the car and how it holds up in today's market and the pros and the cons, let's get back to the POV content for a bit of exploration around my local areas. 
The main question I wanted to answer in this video is, is my Audi A3 still doing me well after all these years? The answer is yes, I haven't had any issues whatsoever so far. However, I am going to be looking at getting a newer car shortly because I might have to give this car up. Now, I'll let you guys know more when it gets closer to the time, but as it stands, I might have to give the car up. But well, let's just say I'm going to need Angela's A-Class and that will be my car that I'll be using in the meantime to fill the gap. But I do want a new car because I feel like with a new car, we can make more better content for you guys. There's still some stuff I want to do on here, like refurbishing some of the bits. Let's do a little pull down here. Lovely, love that. So there's still a couple of bits in this car which need fixing from just where I've like ragged it or I've like hit curb or whatever. Um, so that's always a project that we can do but once we get the garage sorted. Right. It's just so good to be able to get out in the car again. Like I'll be, I'm going to be vlogging the journeys on the way to away games and then just football because it just seems a waste for me to drive like a thousand mile round trip and not do a challenge for it. Um, travel down here see what we're saying down here I don't know how far I've got and um, when I get down to like 25 miles I'll turn around because like I said I don't want to be stranded in the middle of nowhere with no petrol there's a road over there I can see a road so I don't know if I'm gonna come out of the main road that'd be pretty neat if I could do there but speaking of reviews I have one in the works of a car review of a very very fast hot hatch I'm not gonna reveal which one but it's in the works I just need to organize a date with the guy who I'm doing it with and then we can get going. So there's a car behind me, so I'm gonna do a little pull now up to the speed limit. I've got some videos in the works, guys. As for my next car, I don't know what to go with. I wanna obviously keep it either 2013, no, 2015 or newer, but that is negotiable dependent on what car we go for, right? So I'm obviously an Audi fanboy. I love the Porsches as well. So I don't think I'll have enough money to be able to afford a Porsche. So do we go with another Audi or do we try something different? Do we go with like a BMW or something like that? I'm not too sure. Um, but let me know down in the comments below, what would you prefer? What would you prefer me to get? Because I'm stuck, man. I know what I'd want to get. Um, but it's just freeing up the capital to do so. So let me know, do you want to see more of these Audi videos? The Audi will probably have for another two months. So I want to get as many videos out on the Audi as possible. Uh, let me know down below, what do you want to see on the Audi? I saw someone say automatic boot struts. I've had a look, they do it for the Audi 8P version. I haven't found any for the AV, which is what this one is. Um, so if anyone can find them, please link them down below and I'm more than happy to do a video on them because that idea is so cool. Uh, and this is a 60, so let's do a little pull. Yeah, boy! Oh, or we go over Mercedes. Go, do we go over Mercedes next? I don't know. See, this is what I'm sort of playing with, do you know what I mean? I want to get a project car, which is obviously going to be an old project, but then I also need something comfy and reliable for the football game. So, yeah, it's, it's a bit of a tricky conundrum, really, because I ideally want to stay within my creature comfort, but do we go for, like, an MX-5 throwback rust bucket um, for the next foreseeable future? We're now back on the road again. We're, just, we're doing, like, a full loop. Um, to where I first started the video, which is a, an area I found pretty cool. It's actually a recycling area, um, which is not too far from mine. Um, but I really love the fields around here, which is where I found it, walking the dog. Um, so yeah, the area is lovely, the house is lovely. We've got some couple videos coming on the house and the garage shortly, because um, we want to make that as good as possible for the channel. Um, yeah, like I said, let me know down below what you want to see from us. Um, and we will try to make it happen. Yeah, so as you can see on her, she has a few things that need doing. The alloys obviously priority need doing. Some of this wrap has come off a little bit. So where this is used to be tucked in in the door, it's sort of bent up, as you can probably see. So we need to redo that, uh, re-wrap all of this. Uh, she still looks good, the old girl. I mean, it's not even an old car. I don't know why I'm saying it's like an old car, but every time, you know when you look back at a car, you're like walking away and you look back, you know it's the right car from you and you can look at it and go, yeah, that's, that's a nice car. So she's done me well. Like I said, I might have to give her up in a couple of months. And when that video comes out, you guys will be a bit shocked as to why. Do the intros and outros. But as you can see from the lights we did before, 
I've been Will. Pass you back to future Will. So that will be the end of the video. Thank you guys so much for watching. I really, really appreciate it. I'm back. I promise you I'll be making more content once I moved into the house. Now that I'm in the house, it's only right that I provide weekly uploads. So I did one video like two weeks ago. Now we're going to try and commit to weekly. I've got a couple of ideas planned, as I mentioned earlier on the video. So stay tuned for those. If you did enjoy the video, please remember to hit that like button and comment your thoughts down below. If you're enjoying the series, please, please let me know because I'm, I really want to accommodate what you guys are liking. So please let me know down below. Also, I am going to be posting, like I said, weekly. So please hit that subscribe button if you are enjoying and ding dong that notification bell. That way you'll never miss out on any of my uploads also i know as, as i said earlier on i'm plugging the twitch i'm streaming most days so please down below the links are there for the discord the twitch and everywhere that i'm posting at the moment try to be more active on the social so please go check those out but for now guys thank you guys so much for watching if you have stuck around to the end i really really appreciate it you guys mean the world to me and i'll see you guys next week take care peace